Hello everyone, my name is Palm Samayori, and we're back with another edition of Palm Samayori Streams, to be number 98, to be chilling out Palm Samayori number 97, so, I'll go ahead and set the timer so I've been knowing I'm going for at least an hour, um, and yeah. I'm going to real quick check up on something, because I might be able to do some connecting with a certain person, uh, like battle-wise and stuff like that on Pokemon, so, yeah, let me just check that real quick. Okay, so I'll go ahead and, um, I left off from Pokemon Ultra Sun, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep searching for that, uh, the Landis to, you know, call in the Salazzle, hopefully, because that's the whole reason why I'm still in here. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever I find that, it's just, I don't know when that's going to happen, because it's a rare thing. So, it'll happen when it happens. Real quick, hold on. Oh, that's why. I was like, why am I sounding so weird with my headset? Because I had my half half volume on Twitch. That was why it was so low. Crap, I killed the Salanda. I thought another acid spray wouldn't kill. Man. They're just getting too strong on my Pokemon. Before it was a struggle just to take these Pokemon down. Now it's just me trying not to kill them even with my weakest moves. It's crazy. So crazy. 
That's how I know I'm over leveled. <laughs> oh no, it's Maggie smoke screaming once, now it's smoke screaming, screaming me. Not screaming, smoke screening me. A bunch of times and I keep missing. What the heck? No, do not miss, Grimer. We're gonna. Oh my god. Now I have minus three accuracy. This sucks. Okay, thank you. Now you hit. Okay, die, Maggie. Get out of here. Jeez. That would have sucked so much. Wow. Sneaky Maggie. Put my accuracy down like that. How dare you, Maggie? How dare you do this? Alright, I'm just going to do a basic Poison Fang, because maybe that will get this thing not destroyed. I hope it's not, because, you know, Grimer's attack is really high, I just... Okay, cool, yeah, perfect. So I'll just be using Poison Fang, not Acid Spray. Poison Fang will get them low enough to where they'll have more of a chance to call in for help. So that's good.
No, oh, man, I killed this landed. It's just a basic pick. I don't know if Malamar is able to take this landed's on, because I think all of her attacks are just gonna kill them, sadly. Yeah. I forgot about that. Some of my Pokemon are just too strong. They don't have weak enough moves for, for they, um, for the Pokemon I'm trying to not kill. You know, just let them live. So I think Malabar is gonna level up in this battle as well, to level 34. I believe so. Yep, level 34. Sweet deal, Malamar. All right. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. I think Malamar is the only one for now that. Literally, whatever attack she uses, the Salandit will die. So, yeah. So, yeah, I gotta really, you know, switch out and stuff like that. Eventually, none of them are gonna be able to do that. And you know what? That might be where I have to stop hunting these for now. Because I literally, like, they'll call in for help, but it's such a rare chance that they'll call in for help. So, yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. If literally my weakest move I use on them, if that kills them, then I'm just going to have to move on with the story for now. And then wait until I get another area where they're going to be able to um, get to land it and call in Salazzle with SOS. I think maybe Whale of Volcano Park is the only way that Salazzle can be found in the wild. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check, but I think that's the only time. So literally I would have to wait to do this quest until... Um, until I unlock that one spot in Lush Jungle where you can go through that cave. But you need the Machamp Ride to push the rock out of the way, so... Yeah. So that would be something, because I think when I looked up Salazzle, all I could find was it would be able to be found in the wild in Whale of Vicana Park from SOS Call from Salandi, so... I don't know, I might get lucky, or, you know, this might not. Even with Persian, I think... Let me try a bite. I don't, I don't know if this thing will survive a bite either. Nope, got destroyed. Okay. Because I know Swift just destroyed. Um, Persian has much higher special attack. Well, Alolan Persian, I mean. Much higher special attack than physical attack, so. Yeah, definitely can't do that with Persian. So, Persian, Malamar, and then I'm not using Hapini because I'm not wanting her to get any experience or anything like that until I get the Oval Stone. To have her evolve into Chansey. Um, so yeah, and I think maybe even no, I'm sure Pre Marina has just well now that he's a fairy type, disarming voice might just be so much more. And it's the fact that he evolves and getting like levels up and stuff, he's getting stronger each time, just like with all my Pokemon. So it might just be Grimer and Charger Bug, because I know. Well, there's been times I've been getting critical hits with Charger Bug, but I think normally x should be able to, you know, not kill this Blandit, so, yeah. So for now, Persian, Malamar, I'll know when they're strong enough, like when their weakest move will kill this Blandit, I'll know. So I need to switch out from Persian, because... That's not going to work. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try Grimer. I think Grimer still can get them down to low health. Um, at the very least, yeah, no, Grimer's Acid Spray will not be one-shotting for, like, a very long time. So, I'll be here for a while, for sure. The Acid Spray is the, well, the one uh, move that I will be keeping in the end game on her. Yeah, she's only missing Screech, so it's like, yeah. Anyway, it's crazy that Solandic called in for help when it was at full health, and then got the help, so that's pretty crazy. But that's like a rare time that would happen to me, and that doesn't happen very often at all, so once I literally just can't weaken them when they get low enough to that, I'm just gonna, like, leave this place. You know, I can easily just grab another Pokemon out of the PC, and just do that, but no, I'm not going to get into that whole thing. I literally will wait until I can go into another place where they can SOS call Salandit. I mean, not Salandit, Salazzle. Or, you know, just until I reach that spot in the lush jungle or cave to where I can get the high level Salandit. So where I can, you know, catch a female one and then 
level all that up once and that'll get my slasher. So yeah. And plus, I am worried that my Pokemon would get too high level to where they will stop, um, you know, where they'll start to just ignore my commands, which that would suck a lot, so that's like another reason why I do not want to get too over leveled. Because I think I'm even at this point, I think I'm as strong as Olivia, which she's the kahuna of this island, which that should not be happening because I'm only on my second captain. Not even took it on the second trial yet on this island. So yeah, that's that's crazy. That's how high level I am. I mean then again, once I get the oval stone for my happiness. And wouldn't mind her level up and stuff. I guess I could come back here and do that because she's level 21 right now, and these Pokemon, the highest they are, is level um, 19 and the earliest level 16. And Happiny's not that strong. Even when I get Chansey and Blissey, they're not that powerful. So it's like, if I still have the basic attacking move, which will only be the only attacking move that I have on that uh, move set, would be Double Edge. Um, but yeah. It would pretty much be, most likely I won't be taking these Pokemon down unless I get really high leveled. Um, because I won't get uh, Blissey most likely for a while, unless I get to the, uh, you know, that one town where Olivia is, like, staying in. It's like that place where you can get your happiness once a day up on your Pokemon. Um... Unless I get that, you know, it's going to take a while to probably get evolution from uh, Chansey to Blissey. And alone to uh, evolution from Happiny to Chansey, because I need that old stone. I don't know when I'm going to get it, so, yeah. Salazzle! I actually got it! Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe it! I actually got it! Wow! Holy crap! That took so long! I'm just going to spam, uh, I'm just, I'm lost for words right now. I didn't actually expect this thing to show up. So that's crazy. I did it. See, I told you, with enough hard work, anything can happen. Your mind is still as little. It may take a while to catch, but I'll just keep throwing Pokeballs at you. I have tons. Uh, I even have 40 tire balls, if it really comes down to that. Uh, 
Oh, I did three shakes in an arm Pokeball. I was going to say, that would have been too good. That would have been too lucky. Yeah, I don't think this thing's going to be easy to catch. I have full health and this thing being an evolution? Yeah, no. It's level 8. She's level 18, but still. I'm just so happy to be looking at this thing on my screen. I didn't know when I was going to get this. But, yeah. It was possible, and I knew that was a possibility, so I took it. So I'm happy. I'm just, I'm so happy. That's probably going to be, like, the highlight of this. Well, it's definitely going to be a highlight. It's just um, probably the best part of my day so far. And I had a lot of crazy, amazing stuff happen to me today. And this is something like this. That's why I love just rare things in general, just whether it's shiny or something like that. Just when you finally get it, it's finally, like, it feels so good, you know. You get it out of nowhere when you're not expecting it. Please catch. Hey, caught in a normal Pokeball. It only took six. That's not too bad. Full health, evolution Pokemon, even though it was level 18. Still, got my Salazzle, oh baby. That's what I'm talking about. There it is, yeah. Now I can finally take on the trial, and I'm going to absolutely destroy it, because I'm such high level. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy. So happy that I actually got that with the divine SOS call. That's amazing. Yeah, I didn't make the Magmar one a highlight because I didn't really truly understand how rare it was to get it. So I was like, yeah, whatever, not much of a reaction. But this one was definitely a good one. So I'm definitely making that one a highlight for sure. And yeah, I'm almost out of Poke Beans, but if I go back to the Pokemon Center soon and get Poke Pelago soon, I think, yeah, I'll be good. So I literally have like four Poke Beans left, I think. So I got three left. Oh my god. I might still have Pokemon to take care of, so I might run out. I don't know. No, I don't. Okay. Well, I got three left. So once I'm done with this trial, I'll be able to do as much flying as I want with Charizard. Internals of those quests, of course. And also, um, yeah. But I'm just so happy. I finally get to continue the freaking game. Finally. <laughs> That's nothing compared to shiny hunting, but I'm just saying, it's like whenever you feel and know something's rare and you finally get it, you feel so good. Alright, so I'm going to give Persian the amulet coin. I'm going to head in there. I'm going to destroy this trial. It's not even going to be a challenge. It actually isn't. Because literally I caught a Salazzle. And the totem Pokemon spoilers, it is the Salazzle. So, yeah. We'll see. I'll see what level, what the highest level is here. And I'm sure I'm going to be way higher level than this. So, I'm going in. I'm going ham. I mean, I'm going to walk in my normal outfit. We're doing this. We don't need to go and ride Pokemon. Do this. Yahweh, I'm here. To destroy your trial. Of course, yeah. I was ready a long time ago when I first came to this park. I love this trial so much. You get to spot the differences they do. Oh, we just fight the Marowak, okay. So this is going to be easy because I have Persian out in front. I'm just going to straight up use Power Jump and this thing's going to get one-shotted. I'll probably even outspeed this thing. Level 18, easy peasy. That's nothing. Power Jump, you get one-shotted. Bye-bye.
Pathetic. Out of my way, Marowak. Literally, I don't think I'm going to one-shot the totem Pokemon, but everything else, I'm pretty sure I'm going to one-shot, so... Yeah. I love the music and everything. They did not have this in the first games. Wow, this guy sends out a Magmar. <laughs> Literally the rare encounters of this area. Blazzle, Magmar, I don't think you can get a little Marowak from a call. Um, but still. Oh, and just Power Gem, that'll do. That'll one shot. <laughs> oh my god. Too easy. Easy peasy. Now it should be onto the totem. Yeah, Blazzle. Blazzle. A oh, what? Wait, what? Wait, so it isn't totem Blazzle? I thought it was totem Marowak. Wait, what? I guess in Pokemon, in Ultra, in Ultra Moon, it was Salazzle. Because the first one, it, I knew it was Alolan Marowak, but okay. Okay, then. This thing is level 22. Are you kidding me? I already had, like... Hold on. Yeah, this isn't even higher level than the freaking captain of the tri of the, of the route outside of, um... Of what's that one place called where a lot where you fought Lana? Well, not Lana. Um, totem Pokemon. But okay, I think I'm gonna one shot this thing with Power Gem. Oh, you. Oh, detect. So this thing's stalling to call in for help. It's gonna guarantee calling an ally. That's so stupid. I think this is gonna call Salazzle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it wasn't a totem Salazzle. It's like they call him Salazzle. I see now. That makes sense. I'm just going to go ham with the Marowak. I'm just going to keep using that yeah, power gem. That should one-shot the Marowak. Oh, it didn't. Okay. I'm surprised. I can eat up these attacks, though. Yeah. Brick Break? I can eat that. It's like a... Yeah, I have the Fur Coat ability. Well, since this thing might use Detect, I'm just going to go ahead and just use Attack Slazzle. Yeah, I knew it. See? I freaking know your games, Marowak. Get the heck out of here. I'll just one shot the Slazzle. That's fine. Get out of here, Slazzle. <laughs> yeah, the person's gonna level up from this battle. A chunky experience. Okay, he didn't call him for help, so he can't use the tech two times in a row, I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah. I won. Easy peasy. That was literally what? That was. How many turns? Stalled with the detect, and then I hit the Marowak, and then one shotted the. Yeah, it was literally, yeah, it was literally four turns, that's all it took. Four power gems. Bam. Yeah. Easy peasy, I told you. I told you it was going to be extremely easy, because I was so overleveled. Yeah. Easy peasy. That was nothing. That was seriously nothing. Well, Persian's about to level up, so I'm going to go ahead and get him to the next level. And then I got lots of stuff I want to do. Give me my Charizard ride right now. Oh, Quick Balls, that's pretty nice. I actually want those eventually. Yay, Charizard! Ta da! Now I can get around super easy. Cool stuff.
Is that all you gotta say, Rotom, huh? Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, so Charizard Glide. I'm gonna have that be the down. All the D's have had. Alright, let me just check this area just to see if there's any sneaky items just hanging around. You never know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give Persian his um Normalian Z, that's I didn't <laughs> couldn't think of the name. Uh and then I'll go ahead and give the next one that's supposed to be out, which should be Grimer, the Amos coin. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go to Hiahia City, because yeah, that's where both the quests are, for Salazla and uh, Magmar. I'm actually going to check if my Magmar that I caught has Flame Body, because like I said, I'll be using that for the easier egg hatching, so yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I don't think I have Hokey Rust, I could easily just check in my inventory, but I want to see. I probably don't, though it's super rare. Yeah, no I don't, okay. Right, I'm gonna order, uh, I'll just order a lemonade. So I can get some poke beans, and that, I guess that once a day free heal all status effects snack. Oh, and there should be new items in the shop as well. Yeah. And give me poke beans, thank you very much. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, new items in the shop. Let's sell some stuff real quick. Okay, float stone, don't care about that. Um hey, I gotta buy some basic pokeballs as well. Alright. So let's see what I got now in the shop. Oh, great balls. Oh, I think great balls are already unlocked. Um, oh, Grimmy Ball. I'll go ahead and sell that because I don't really care about that much. Um, yeah, I think the only thing new is a super repel. I do not care about that. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll sell this Premier Ball. Um, yeah, okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to go and turn those quests in, see what I get. I better get some stack and stuff. I know that from the Magmar quest, I get a Magmarizer, but the girl that wants the Salazzle, well, at least she's in the clothes shop. She wanted it for a design thing, so yeah. Oh baby, ten thousand dollars? Yeah, that's absolutely worth it. Just a quest that I just want to complete because it's a quest, but still. Alright, man. Oh, I need to get the magmar out of my PC, yeah. So I was gonna check that afterwards, but I guess I'll just check it now. So do you have flame body magmar? That'd be great. Yeah, you do, sweet. Alright, cool. So that is going to be in box number 8. Anyway, I'll go ahead and just get Persian out of there. Um, yeah, cause just in case I need the thing out in front, I'll just have my Magmar out in front. Alright man, here is a Magmar. Show you...
Yep, show you my magmar. Oh, I got a charcoal. Oh, and then from the guy, I'm pretty sure he actually... Yeah, that one in the, inside the hotel gives me a magmarizer, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. What if I talk to the guy outside again? Because charcoal, that sells for a lot of money. That's like as much as a nugget. Yeah, okay. I don't know where I read that it said magmarizer. Anyways, whatever. That's cool, though. That's actually even better because I'm pretty sure that sells a lot more than the magmarizer would have, so that's awesome. Over oh, 500, what? In the older games, you used to sell for like 4,900. Wow, that sucks. Why would they do that? That sucks. That sucks so much. That actually really sucks. fly back to Whale of Volcano Park now. Um, I gotta get Persian up to one battle to level up. And then I'll go ahead and go through the barricade. There's, yeah, so. I don't know, I might get Pokey Pelago. You know, because I still don't have it right now. Should be literally one battle and then Persian should level up. Magmi? Yeah, that's usually some chunky experience. Yeah, this should get the level up. Yep, nice. And 34 Persian. Grammar's all good, has the aiming coin, I believe she's all good for training, yeah, she's good for a while, for a decent while. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and save right before I actually open the barricade, just in case something crazy happens. But I should be prepared, um, yeah. Oh, here we go, this is Moan! Yes! Instantly, I get Pokepelago. Yes. Oh my god. I can't, I actually can't believe it. I'm going to get so much more beans. I can actually develop islands that I should be able to. Yeah, I already know, Moan. I know all about Pokepelago. I love it so much. Yes, yes. All my Pokemon that are in my PC are just chilling out. Feels so good to be back in Pokepelago again. Yeah, I'm literally stacking on beans.
so crazy. I think I actually need to give him beans to be able to make the new islands, because I think I have enough to at least make the basic island. I mean, move over to it, not make it. But I just need to keep getting the. I need to go and get the one that like you can do expeditions, because that's why that I need for the oval stone. Yeah, it just keeps going. These beans are just falling from this beanstalk. I'm pretty sure when I get new islands as well, there's more beanstalks as well. So I'm going to be good on beans forever now. I don't need to go to the cafe to do that anymore. I'll like check up on the cafe guy just to see when he gives me a rare candy for feeding some of the Pokemon to my Pokemon, but still. Oh, it feels so good to be back in this again. Not the crate, dang it. Yeah, it's still it's still shedding beans from the tree, the stock. I literally have over a hundred thirty beans. I mean, plain beans. I have over like a hundred fifty <laughs> total. Dang, I keep clicking the crate. Oh my god. Because this Abra keeps going back and forth around the crate, and I don't want to click on the Abra on accident. Okay, now I think I'm seeing the stock finally. Yeah, finally it's starting to empty, but I got so many beans, that is awesome. Okay, I want to develop islands. Five isles total. Oh, okay, cool. It tells me what I need. Yes, Island Apoon, they can explore the caves. Okay, so I need 30 Pokemon in my box. And just 30 plain Poke Beans. Okay, I already have 11. I only have 11 in my box right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, there's 10 minutes left in the stream, but that's going to be the next goal. Is to catch Pokemon until I still have 30 total in my, uh, in my box. So, it can literally be the same ones. But I might as well just catch the different ones for going towards Professor's Pokedex. So I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, leave Pokebell go. Well, actually, no, I, I might as well fill up the crate. I'll fill it up with pattern beans. 20 pattern beans. And then send out a bean bottle as well. Okay. It's so cool to be back in Pokepelago again. It seriously feels so good. So now, okay. Um, I'm going to start off with Route 1 and just keep catching Pokemon from there. The ones that I have not gotten yet. Registered in my box. Um, let me just go ahead and check that real quick. I know it's not going to be that many I'll be able to get right now, but still. I think I got every Pokemon in Route 1, I'm pretty sure. Well, not Rattata, because that's only at night time, so I can't do that right now. Um, yeah, I got every one of those in the basic Route 1. I don't have Magnemite, don't have Wingle, don't have Slowpoke. Oh, I don't have, oh, I can go in the water too. Okay, so let me do that first. All right. I actually got to go to the trainer school for that one, but then the beach for Wingo and Slowpoke. 
Alrighty. So this is also like I was saying, mainly for the um to get the lucky egg from Professor Kakui after I beat the Elite Four, because I need 50 registered caught Pokemon uh, of different species in my Pokedex. So this is another reason why. So yeah. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and search for the Magnemite. Oh, and Zora is over here too. I almost forgot about that. So yeah, Magnemite. I don't have anything weak enough to go ahead and weaken these things, so I'm just gonna you know, throw Pokeballs. Dang it, man. Oh my god, I shook three times and then just broke out. What a troll. There we go. Magnemite caught. Good. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky enough to find the Zora in this area. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh no, calling it for help. Unless it's something I don't have. Nope, it's another Magnemite. <laughs> oh god. Oh, then again, that's the thing. This Magnemite, the last one could have had Sturdy, but I just didn't want to just do that, just in case it fainted it. So that's why I was just not wanting to damage it. Wow, I'm confused and paralyzed. Jeez. If you can hit through this grinder, and holy crap, I don't think you're gonna be able to. Oh my god! What? I hit through paralysis and confusion. What? Wow. Grammar's too good. Grammar's too lucky. Jeez. Holy moly. Crazy one.
found his aura. Wow. Nice. And Pokeball. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll get lucky and catch this thing really fast. No, shook three times. You little troll. You little get poison, please. Oh, no way. Is this thing gonna really call for help? Please don't. Okay, I was gonna say you're at full health. You really, you just troll me with three Pokeball shakes, and you break out, and then you try to call for help. What do you think this is, Zorua? It's a bad Zorua. All right. Yeah, I don't think this thing's gonna get caught really easily. Jeez. If you would just get poisoned from the poison punch, that'd be great. Oh my god. I'm gonna be out of Pokeballs, so this thing's gonna get great balls. I don't care. You are gonna you're gonna freaking get in the balls or whether you like it or not. Oh my god, this thing is just breaking out, not even shaking. What do you think you are, legendary? Get the heck in the ball. You're level five. Do not even try this thing, dude. Do not even. At least try to match with what Pokeball you're in. Please? That's a good Zorua. Get in the freaking ball. Sweet deal. Alright. Well, <laughs> nice. I thought it was really going to be tough, but nope. Good Zora. Got in the ball like you should have. Good stuff. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center, restock in Pokeballs, heal and save, and then it's pretty much gonna be end of the stream for now. Yeah, alarm's going off. Perfect timing. Hold on, hold on, let me turn that off so it's not blaring in my ear. Jeez, there we go. What the? That was weird. Anyways. Uh, okay. Restocking Pokeballs. Yeah, I literally had one left, so I would have used Great Balls after that. <laughs> Good thing the Zara were cooperated. Oh, they didn't go into the wrong box. Dang it. Get to the other box. Okay. So I think I needed 30 total, so each spot is 6, so... Yeah, this whole box I would need to have filled up. Because, oh wait, actually, hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, five. So one whole box to get that island. Yeah, because I think it said 30. I don't even know. I assume. But I'm going to go back to the spot. So next time... Because, um, yeah, I just got the Zora and then I just got the Magnemite. So that would be all that there is in that area. And then next would be the beach, like the grass and then the ocean. So, yeah. Alright, anyways, so, oh man, it's going to be so weird, because it's going to be so empty, compared to when I'm just like standing in front of my tent, um, but anyways, yeah, so, expect this to be up on YouTube, of course, um, yeah, uh, yeah, and if you should be so kind of support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, then feel free to. Link will be in the descriptions of all my videos on YouTube, and it'll be on, like, the info for video, for, for YouTube as well, if I can speak. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it, like it might be on Twitch, but if not, like I said, go over to YouTube for that whole thing for Patreon. But anyways, I've been your host, Paul Mayui, and Palam, that means goodbye in Filipino. Zaijian, that means goodbye in Chinese. Malasalam, that means goodbye in Arabic. Marvel, that means goodbye in Danish. Alfredo, that means goodbye in German. In my language, of course. Goodbye. <laughs>